Run for God came about out of my passion for running and, and a passion that ultimately had become an idol. I had completed several races um, and I was talking to a gentleman in my church by the name of H.R. Poe. H.R. looked at me one Sunday morning and just as serious and concerned as he could be, said, Mitch, don't let this become your God. Um, and, and quite honestly, it offended me at first um, because here I was talking about a sport that I loved to a deacon in my church and he was trying to, what I thought at the time, meddle in my faith. Over the next few days, what he said just eat at me. Uh, and I look back now, I know it was the Lord convicted me. I was either gonna have to give this sport up that I love or I was gonna have to give it to God. So I went and had some shirts made that said, run for God. It had a sticky, funny looking stick guy on it um, and had some t-shirts made. And I thought, well, I'll wear these whether I'm running down the road or I'm at the gym or whatever I'm doing, I'll wear these. And that'll force me to get outside my comfort zone. And what I thought would happen or what the Lord laid on my heart that would happen did happen. People started asking, tell me about your t-shirt. Uh, and I, I started to get more comfortable sharing with the story behind how this t-shirt came to be. Um, and that led to people started telling me their stories of how they would like to, to learn how to run, but they just really didn't know where to start. Um, so I went and talked to my pastor about starting a, a running program in our church that would parallel faith and endurance, a concept that, that I just knew was readily available at any Christian bookstore. Um, so I signed people up for this class to start in January of 2010. And two weeks out, I decided, well, I need to go to the, the local Bible bookstore and uh, pick this program up. Uh, well, to my surprise, it wasn't there. Um, and, I, and I found myself asking the question real quick, you know, Lord, why did you, you know, you give me this idea, but now you, you haven't given me the resources to follow through with this plan that we've laid out for our church. Um, so I just, I just, with a lot of prayer, I started the class and just started uh, using what material I could uh, honestly using some material that wasn't mine. Uh, I was writing some of the material and I was thinking this was just gonna be a class at our church. And once we were done with this 12 week class, then, then the Lord and I, we would be square. You know, I would have done my part. Uh, well, it wasn't very long before people started asking other churches around our community, hey, you know, we would love to do this program. Where can we get it? Um, and I was having to tell people this, this isn't a program. This is a stack of notebook paper on my desk. You know, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants, honestly. I'm a builder from Dalton, Georgia. I know nothing about the publishing industry. I'm not one of Lifeway's best-selling authors and I'm not an Olympic marathoner. So what credentials do I have to author and publish a running program? Uh, you know, looking back now, I was limiting myself to what I could do instead of what God can do. I'm still not real comfortable talking in front of a crowd, but it never fails. The Lord gives me the, the will and the wisdom uh, to do it. I think it's something that if you enjoy the sport of running, you will enjoy this class. Uh, it's, it's so fun to see people grow in their spiritual walk, number one but to grow physically um, in their running life, to see them do something that three, four, five, six weeks ago, they said they could never do. Uh, it's taking that I can't and turning it into I can't. And it's, it, it, it creates such a lifestyle change for people. And it's just an awesome thing to watch. You know, our slogan is live it, love it, teach it, you know. Whether you're taking the class or you're teaching the class, it's going to change your life, just like it did with me.